Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to IWA. We are from Des Moines, Iowa. Live. J just ignore that. That isn't relevant. And out come our tag team champions, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, and Drax. Now this team, they haven't got much screen time, but they're looking to take advantage of what they have. And I'm wondering what this announcement of theirs is going to be. Curious. And yeah, our tag division's a bit small, uh, I'll admit. But uh, me and the creative team are going to try our best to get some new tag teams in the division. Anyways, back on the real topic here. The Guardians have retained against Flash and Zoom and the Power Rangers here. So they'll probably do something with the tag division. They are the tag team champions, so they technically have a right, even though they aren't in management. So let's hear what they have to say. Alright, alright. Catering is looking pretty good. So I'm just going to make this quick. We don't have contenders for the tag team championships just yet for Bloodlust. However, there will be a mini tournament to determine who is going to Bloodlust to go head to head, toe to toe, face to face with the Guardians of the Galaxy. First, there will be two tag team matches. First match will have Project Altitude taking on the Power Rangers. The second match will have The Flash and Zoom taking on Antonio Herrera and Vito Lombardi. And then the winners of those two matches will go on to fight each other. Winner gets us at Bloodlust. Because that's how a tournament works. Those two matches will be taking place in episode 10. But for now, we focus on the night. Nummy and Drax were your longest reigning tag team champions. Now I want to sound heelish or cocky. And all the other teams here, because our tag team division's a bit slim, they're, they're occupado. Which is why me and Drax here will take on any comers. So come the F out. Okay, so what? Are you kidding me? I was about to finish my sentence saying the Guardians laid out an open challenge, and look who we get. This team doesn't even make any sense. A GTS wrestler, an Irish guy, and our president. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. These three goofballs, these three idiots, the Great Wall Era, go 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 Great Wall Era, is in the IWA? This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry to say it, but the Great Wall era is going to die. They're going to die. I don't even believe any of these three men have any talent. And Starler and Drax have a lot of talent. As a team, they've been together for a while. These three were just thrown together for a sake of a meme. No. Jack's not even American. He's Irish. So if your gimmick is deporting people, deport Jack too. Or better yet, replace him. I, I don't see what the point of this team was. Oh wow, I thought Trump's wig was going to fall when he did that. But uh, enough jokes about the president's corn hair. It's about time we start the slaughter. And no, the team with the advantage is not going to be the one slaughtering. I advise the viewers not to watch this because there's no team worse than the Great 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 Wall Era. More like the Guga Gay Wall Era. And Drax is tagged in against our 70-year-old president. Boom clothesline. It's it should it's probably done already. And he's just gonna stomp at Trump. And he's getting him up. This is what we call a squash match, folks. And Drax. Dang Drax, no, you really have an appetite for destruction. And Casey is suplex. You can tell I'm bored because my expectations are super low. Trump into the Guardian's corner. Jack punch down. Trump punches Drax. He's at the apron. And Drax looking to suplex Trump too. Vertical suplex. 
trumps up again, because why? Now Drax, he has Trump because of course he does. Why would Trump stand a chance against Drax? Tag the Star Lord, double team maneuver. Uh, oh, and nice little clothesline spear combination. And Casey Navarro is tagged in. Oh, and but dang, loose this breath, however you pronounce it. And then Star Lord, he's gonna tag in Drax to do some more damage. I mean, they're both kind of sore, which I understand, but all right. R.I.P. and P. Spine Buster to Casey Navarro. Oh, Drax went for a slam. Casey just tossed, pushed him, and oh, drop toe hold. R.I.P. Casey Navarro, and Drax is just ow. Is he is he looking to tag in Jack too? And ja oh, <laughs> dang, that was overselling, but oh. Donald Trump just punched Drax to destroy him. And Drax is getting enraged. No, but the president, once again, punching Drax. That was a nice little oversell thing, though. Jack gets punched off, and Casey decides to eliminate himself in the Royal Rumble. Oh, and Kate, What's even happening right now? How are these goofballs getting the advantage? It's the Russians. I knew it. And oh, here comes Donald Trump. I hate these guys. Finish the oh my god. It, why is the president getting in offense on our tag team champions? One half of them. And Drax, look, is he going to take control back? Yup, co corner close line. Go figure. And Spine Buster. Is Drax, they aren't even using their tag team finisher. Lifts him up. Beast bomb. Wow, not even a tag finisher was needed. Oh, he just struck Casey Navarro. Uh, uh, sorry, Casey Navarro just struck Drax. He's knocked down. Both of his teammates are knocked down. Donald Trump, I don't know if he has any fight left in him. But Drax, he's, lo he's looking to cover him. Going for the cover. One, two, three, and Jack looks shocked even though he barely did anything. Didn't even get tagged in on his handicap match. Yeah, the Guardians won. I, I know, you predicted that. Everyone in the audience, the comments, live reactions. <laughs> I'm late. It's a bit late at night when I'm a recording this on the mic so anyways the guardians win and up next are the poll results so basically there, there was a poll up on the Akali Nations discord alright so the fans could vote now I'm not going to reveal who uh, actually won the vote until the time comes but King Suzuki's out here to basically uh, I don't know he's out here I guess I will make a solid guess that he's pro he was probably planning to do an open challenge anyways because, you know, baby faces in their championships. Yeah, Cena did it with his U.S. title. Seth did it with his Intercontinental Championship. Finn's probably going to do it too. I don't know. Faces have a thing with open challenges. I don't know if it's a fetish, an addiction, or what. But now we will see who... Will Kang Suzuki be fighting at IWA Bloodlust, our third ever click per view? Now you see, before Triple H came into the picture, King Suzuki was actually set to face a Colleague Nations member. For various options, Devil Emoji for Krim, Fire Emoji for Noah, Dollar for Rick, Crown for More, Spoon for Status. An eggplant for Rhett, my crew crew at the Meme Express. But let's look at the votes. In a ruling of five votes Noah, three votes Krim, and one vote for Rhett, Noah C is going to fight King Suzuki. This is incredible. Alright, and what? What? Oh. My. 
God. It, no, it can't. Oh my God. Yep, I know that tune anyway. It is. It's the king of bangers. Is it actually in, though? Yes, it is. Noah C is here at the IWA. This is incredible. I never thought I'd see him here. Not this early, though. Not as early as episode 9. The CAA owner. The King of Bangers, the current EW IC champion. I am, I'm, I'm still speechless. I can't believe it. These people can't believe it. People at live reactions can't believe it. This is probably going to make headlines. Probably have a, a little boost in viewership, to be honest. And there's the Nico Bellic war cry. And maybe even a boost in either way in general. Not now I sound like I'm feeding off the crowd and see which I'm not. But uh Noah C is here and I'm gonna drink it in, man. Everyone should just drink it in. Hank sneaking up from behind. Serenity prayer. Serenity prayer from Noah C. I am shocked Noah C even turned up here at the IWA. I thought he was a bit busy with CA or something, but I guess, I guess he has so much free time that he decided to come here. That's a shocker. Noah C is here at the IWA. Uh, a good surprise, Noah C, and a bad one. Great wall layer. And wait, we have a. Oh my god! It's Sub Zero! What's he doing here? Another surprise after emergence. I. I there's too many hitting me at once. And honestly, I'm happy he has a chance to redeem himself. To be honest, his run in GAW didn't end very well. Uh, he lost his GAW World Every Championship the night after Summerfest, the night after he beat Scorpion in GAW's best match. Sub-Zero, he, he, he's had a tough ride with Scorpion. The whole GAW ordeal, being released from RCCW, basically almost to no college. Except maybe all call and a few others that I haven't seen or watched. Sub Zero, he's looking to redeem himself tonight. During Adrian Elliott's Television Championship Open Challenge. Now at this point, I can guess uh, Sub Zero, he's, he's got, I don't know, we may have cleared his plate. We don't know what's been going on with him. But out comes our IWA television champion, Adrian Elliott. I don't care if I'm not good enough for you. And I don't care if I don't live the life you want me to. And I don't care what you want to think of me. Cause all you are is everything that I don't want to be. Ta -da. I know if I'm a bit off beat, okay? This just happens sometimes. But hey, I did right here on the black and yellow brand. We can have some good themes too. We have some good themes like uh, Randy Carter. Wade Fenwick's theme is good to me. Something you can blast out to. We have Adrian's theme. Sub-Zero's theme isn't that bad. We don't, even, we don't know if he's a full-time member. Nonetheless, we must focus on the match and what's at stake here. The IWA Television Championship. The title, I think, Adrian made prestigious. One, he's the only TV champion. Two, he, he defends it a lot, like Danny Santo defends his RCW Television Championship. I was wrong. 
Spinning back fist from Adrian, going for, oh, that was a stiff chop. Adrian with the punch, Sub-Zero whipping Adrian. Oh, no, but Adrian says no to that. Nice little slam there. What's he going for this time? Oh, no. <laughs> but a nasty collision. Nonetheless, Adrian, oh, Sub-Zero rolled out of, oh, he's not phased. He's not phased. Adrian with the punch. Oh no, but miss. Sub-Zero with the nice little knee kick there. Sub-Zero, Snapmare, boo, no rest holds. It's smart, but nah, that doesn't keep down high flyers and stuff. Sub-Zero going for a slam away, Adrian. Oh, kick to the calf. Oh, and a nice little agile neck breaker. Adrian went for the middle rope and doesn't look like he's gonna get anything. Oh, and Adrian went to get him, but the referee held him back. Oh, and an uppercut from Sub Zero, grounding Adrian. Sub Zero getting Adrian up. Whip into the corner. Oh, and a nice little uppercut. Now he's got Adrian up again. Oh, some nice little strikes there. Punch, punch, punch. Oh no, but Adrian fighting from underneath. Oh, but Sub-Zero once again whipping him. Oh no, but the two collide and Adrian, he, he's got some nice little chops on him. And, oh, wait, Sub-Zero combating him with some elbows. Oh, and a power slam takes Adrian down. And Sub-Zero, he's looking to go to the top rope. To the top. Oh, and a nice little flying elbow drop. Sub-Zero gets Adrian up again. What's he going for this time? Nice little punch. No, but Adrian, he's still in this. Spinning back fist. Kicks and chops. Going for it this time. Wait, oh. Oh! Top rope flatliner. Pretty nice. Oh, but Su Sub-Zero, he, he just no-sold that. Oh, throwing him off. Deadly drive. Sub-Zero, he's at the turnbuckle. No, but miss with the elbow drop. Adrian. Oh, punch. My God. German suplex, lariat combination, signature, will it connect? It connects. Adrian already unveils his signature. Adrian on the prowl here. What's he going to go for this time? Oh, nice little chop. Chop that. Oh, no, but sub zero. Punch to the ribs. Oh my, he just popped him up and uppercut him. Well, that's something Dr. Strange uses, I think. But yeah, oh well, oh well. Adrian, he's got, I mean, he's getting got by Sub-Zero, whatever. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Sub-Zero dumps him over. Uh-oh, uh oh my God. Suicide Spear. Sub-Zero now definitely has the higher ground. D don't taunt. You can just get him in the ring and probably cover him at this point. Ugh. I don't understand wrestlers sometimes. Sub-Zero has Adrian in the ring. Oh no, boy, Adrian's still fighting. I can't believe... What's Adrian doing? How is he still alive? How are... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Apron DDT! How are these two still fighting? Adrian going to the top. Oh, I, don't, I can't tell what he's going for. No, but Sub-Zero, too quick. Too quick. Oh, and a kick. Sub-Zero, he's on the apron now, Adrian. He's near him though. Oh my god, and he cut Sub-Zero. That was a rough landing in Adrian. Oh, he's looking to actually land it this time. Diving fist drop. Adrian, don't taunt, get him in the ring. Why do you freaking wrestlers always do this? Nonetheless. Oh, well, what's Sub-Zero doing? Are you, are you kidding me? Oh. Adrian, he's got a comeback. Sub Zero is ready to face this man. Punch. Has him up. 
about Adrian. Oh, elbow. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Oh, no, but... Oh, Enziguri. Enziguri. However you pronounce... There are multiple ways of pronouncing this. I'm so confused. These two missing shots. They've taken a lot out of each other. Oh, Adrian. Sub-Zero with some shots of his own. Oh, my God. Wrestling slam, slamming him down back first. Sub Zero. Oh no, but he misses with that. He missed that one. Oh no, but Adrian. Oh! Jumping knee signature. Adrian unveiling more of a striking moveset. I wonder why he doesn't do flips anymore. But, uh. This is it. This is it. Oh no, but so oh a stiff chop from Sub Zero and an uppercut. Sub Zero still fighting this. He's still in this fight. And Sub Zero with some strikes. Oh, and another pop up uppercut. Remember, his finisher is the uh, Trouble in Paradise. Still don't have a name for it. Be looking to pop up Adrian for one last strike. Wait, no, wait, no. Actually, he missed. The uprising going for the cover. One, two, three. Adrian Elliott is still your IWA television champion. Honestly, he still has to feel proud of himself. Uh, his, his open challenges I find very entertaining. Ignore the Tron. We are not on Monday Night Raw. That show's garbage. But anyways, I am here with a big bloodlust announcement. So we don't have a version of Money in the Bank yet. Therefore, we will have a fatal four-way ladder match at Bloodlust to determine who's going to walk away with the cash and case. I know it sounds bland, but all the good names were taken. That being said, we will have two qualifying matches in this part and two qualifying matches in part two. Do I seriously have to tell you people why I did what I did? Come on, I'm a heel. I'm a villain. I don't need an excuse. I don't need a reason for anything. Uh, you guys are slower than I thought. But emergence is my time to make a point. My time to do whatever I do. To get a nice little spot reserved for me on the card. And I'll admit, I'm a bit worried. Probably should be. He's got his background, I've got mine. I mean, come on, guys. He kicks total ass. And that's amazing. But in the end, that sponge versus the leader of the saviors and my precious wife, Lucille, doesn't end up very well. Me and Lucille are more powerful than Orrin and Goldie. Is his name Orrin? I don't know. Don't really care either. Unlike this Orrin fellow, when I say no one will survive, I mean it. Ask Glenn, ask Abraham, hell, ask Carl. No, I didn't kill Carl. But my point is, if you're against me, if you even interact with me, you're not safe. And that goes the same for you, Sponge. Truth is, Sponge, as talented as you are, I know. And you know if we clash, it be what Noah C calls a banger. But in the end, I'll stand over you. And then celebrate with my wife. What am I even doing? A yellow little shit is starting to drive me crazy. The point all in all is that there is no sanctuary for you, Sponge. Come at me and I'll bash your brains in. And you'll be looking at the lights. And take your loss like a champ. You have a lot of nerve showing up here and ruining emergence for me, Negan. You come in here with your head held high and your ego on full blast, swinging around that baseball bat, thinking you're untouchable. But in reality, that's the farthest thing from the truth. You're just a coward who hides behind his power and brute force, wearing a mask of a man who doesn't fear death. Well, here at IWA, things work a lot differently than they do in post-apocalyptic America. There are no saviors to do your bidding, there is no anarchy or chaos, and you are far from a monarch of any kind. In IWA, you're just Negan, and you're all alone with a hunk of wood wrapped in barbed wire. 
and even that won't be able to save you. Sure, I may be an anthropomorphic talking sponge, but I have proved those who have doubted my skills in this ring wrong every time I walk through those ropes. And when we meet in this ring, it is going to be a banger. But it's going to be a banger in which I walk out and leave you for the walkers. And with a brand new CPV on the way, I think we should settle this at IWA's Bloodlust in no holds barred. Oh, oh, and SpongeBob's fired up. He's mad at Negan. Reasonably so. He took his slot at emergence. SpongeBob, he's striking Negan now. He's not going to stop. He's missing his strikes. That's how mad he is. He already hates Negan. And Negan with a punch. No, SpongeBob exchanging. No, and a kick to SpongeBob's gut. Oh no, he missed the clothesline. Oh no, but SpongeBob missed the kick. Oh my. Oh! And the back suplex. Oh my god, Negan. Oh my god! He's bashing him with the bat. Bashing him with Lucille. Oh, and Spongebob's getting up, and Negan doesn't like that. Bashing him in the head. Oh my god! Bashed in the head with Blue Seal. Negan. Disgusting. The last match I've completed in didn't go exactly my way. But I've brushed it off and gone on to my next opportunity. Call me edgy, but I look to impress. To amaze! When I step in between the ropes, I have a task ahead. And Wade, you're my prey, and it's hunting season. What do you want, Wade? Oh no, Adrian, it's not that much. I'm just hearing that you're taking comers for my television championship. That win in week four, that was an absolute fluke. You're only TV champion because you beat me one-on-one. -on -one. Liam Malone handed you that television championship shot. And look what I'm doing with it, Wade. I'm doing more than you have. I'm defending that championship each and every single TV episode. Well, almost. But I'm still doing more than you. I'm making that championship what it needs to be. I'm making that championship great, okay? I would love to stay and chat, Adrian, about how I'm going to dethrone you and become the new TV champion. But I have another opportunity. So, Adrian, I'll see you down the line. Okay, so one thing we learned today is that Wade's still triggered by Adrian. And speaking of Wade, this egotistical prick is out right now. Now this match is for an opportunity to go to the Fatal 4-Way uh, ladder match at Bloodlust. For the cash in case. Now I know it, it sounds generic, okay? It sounds generic. But, you know, when all the good names are taken, then, yeah, you get desperate. And Wade, uh, he, he wastes no time with his entrance. He comes in, taunts, wastes a pyro budget. Not as bad as Deadpool or Pepsi Man, though. Those two are criminals at it. And out comes my brother, Blazing Ben Connell. Uh, you blazed or you edgy? Uh, legit, he, he asked me to say that every time he comes out, I think. Or I'm just trying to get myself over it and just can't over it, you know what I mean, right? That, that stage fits perfectly. BC is legit his name. So, th that is awfully convenient. And there's the magic trick. His jacket, his mask, his edgy mask is up. Yikes, it's very dark. I'm on, I honestly want to go sleep, but... You know, I gotta stick through this job. Cause when you're up trying to edit all these shows and on the road constantly, you'll get tired and anytime the light goes out, you're like, mm, not now. What am I even talking about? I, I don't know. At least I have stuff to say during entrances loose. Uh, There is this one thing mo there's this interesting thing about this match and that's the polar opposite of their personalities. Wade Fenwick is a cocky brat. 
my brother is very edgy. Oh, Wade, he's looking to get in some strikes first. No, but Ben, punch. Slap, nice little chop there. Oh, no, but he missed right there. And there goes Wade. Boo. Stop posing. You aren't Bobby Lashley. And the ref held Blazing back successfully. Oh, my God. And went for now. Oh, dang. Blazing with a nice neck breaker reversal there. Wait, and he's just stomping away. What an aggressive person. What an aggressive person. Then he's getting weighed up. Rope rebound. Oh, and a clothesline. Wade is in big trouble early on here. Not even gonna lie. Oh! And the one legged code breaker. And Wade Fenwick oversells and leaps into the air. Like his life depended on it, but Wade. Oh, he's on the. Oh. Oh, no punch. Oh, my God. Oh, Insiguri. Ben's been eliminated from the Royal Raw. You know, I really need to stop that. Nonetheless, Wade, he has the advantage. We're going for double axe handle? No, but he reversed. Ben reversed. Oh, no, went for an Inziguri. Where's Wade taking him? Oh, into the barricade. No, Wade, Ben arm drag. Fast-paced action. Oh, no, but Wade kicked the Ben's gut going into the ring. Wade. Oh, and a clothesline. Oh, come on. Stop being such a... Oh, boy. He came ready for Ben there, but oh, Ben wrote, oh, I don't know what was supposed to happen there, but Wade's not going to stop striking. Is that the turnbuckle? What, what's he doing? He's in, the, in between the middle ropes. Middle rope, neck breaker, incoming, middle rope, neck breaker. Wade Fenwick now has the advantage. It's, it surprises me how quickly the tide turns during these IWA matches. This isn't even me putting over the company. It just, the tides turn very quickly. Ben has Wade into the corner. Wade, DDT. It seems Ben is also in trouble. Never thought I'd see that. Wade gets Ben up. Rope rebound. Ooh. Over the top run. And Wade Fenwick looking to pick Ben apart slow and methodically because that's what the outside is used for. Like, I, I watched my Randy Orton and Wade. What a coward. Oh, no, he's just going to break the count. Oh, into the barricade, Wade. What's he? Oh, Ben hung over. Oh, hung over knee. Barricade hung over knee. This is where Wade Fenwick is best at. I may not like the guy, but he's, he's best at takedown, slow methodical ones. Oh my god! The backstabber! Nice little backstabber there, pretty unique. Haven't found a name for it yet, so I like it. Oh, Ben's at the top of Wade. He, he, he caught him. No, but Ben, he kicked Wade away. Oh, my God. Super kick. Amazing super kick. And Ben, he's deciding what he should do next. Oh, knee to Wade. Oh, and a drop kick. Ben. He's waiting at the corner. Oh, I don't know, man. He, he 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 just does this for some reason. Oh my God! And Blaze, he's got Wade. Oh my! Ow! That was an aggressive throw. And oh, we may be getting an aggressive dive soon. Don't fake on Helio or something of that matter. What an aggressive dive! Ben has the advantage here. Into the ring. And Ben going to the top rope. Wait, Wade's in trouble. Oh, no, but he missed. He missed. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the blackout ability. Go figure. Blaze didn't use that when he was in trouble. Suplex into the roll up. Wade kicks out. Nice little combination there. Ben looking to put his moves to good use. 
looking to put his educated feet to good use. Wade takes Blazing back. Wade's world! Wade's world! Wha oh my god. He just no-sold that. That still did a lot of damage, though. Oh my god. Oh, Wade Fenwick countering his comeback with a power slam. Blazing seemed to be on the roll there. These two... For a match that's been like six to seven minutes, these two are still throwing everything at each other. A second backstab. A second backstab. Or, sorry, I burped. And this could be the end of this matchup. The end of Ben Connell's chances of going to Bloodlust. Stroking him. Oh, pop up Wade's world. Going for the cover. It's over. One, two, three. Wade Fenwick is going to Bloodlust to compete for the cash in case. And oh, and of course he's happy about it. To our next match where the second person competing for the cash in case will qualify. So as for co who's competing, I don't know. And oh, well, we have our first uh, competitor here. The Black Panther. Now he's obviously looking for a rebound. Uh, Good thing for him though, he got into a main event, which is honestly, uh, this honestly means a bright future for you unless you're Jinder Mahal. Because Jinder sucks. But now he's channeling his inner Brock Lesnar. Pyro goes off to keep wasting our budget, and he's very fast. You can tell he's hyped for it, because why else would he be running and doing that? Did you get Shaggy's marijuana? Because after all you went through, you should be tired. Whatever, whatever. The Black Panther will now await his next opponent here. And the second person in is Deadpool. We have DP versus BP. And up, uh, up, uh, uh, there he goes. Wasting our pyro budget. I, uh, I like Deadpool as a talent, but you should know to stop wasting our pyro budget, though. It does look cool. Boom, fire in the background. Sparkles. Over the top. This is over the top. Now with Deadpool, he hasn't had the best of luck, but he did get a big win on the merge. No, no, it's not really a big win. He beat Derek Jones, who's probably looking to make a fresh start. Clean play, and there's more Pyro. I mean, hey, at least it's not Pepsi. I'm freaking raining down Pyro and stuff. And that was a weird transition, but okay. So Deadpool has went emo, ladies and gentlemen. He is moody. Uh, I hate, I hate saying that. But now this unique matchup is about to go underway. Be, however you say it. Each man is in their corners. Ring the bell. Men look to give the boots to each other, but Panther kick, punch. Oh no, but DP punch to the ribs, kicking him. Oh! Uppercut. And DP swinging away, not gonna waste any time at all. Kicking him again, slapping him. Kicking him continuously, not gonna stop. I know the Panther reverses. Oh my god, glorious DDT. Kick to the back. Panther going up top. Leaping for it. Oh, drop kick off the top rope. And now Black Panther has the higher ground. I really need to stop saying the two words, higher ground. I've repeated that a lot. Kick to the gut. Another kick. Deadpool not gonna waste any time. Hip toss to the Panther. Back first onto the ring mat. Another Panther, he is dead right there. Oh, and the chop and sets him down. Drop kick. Very fast paced match here. And oh, he just kicked up. Oh no. DP hit the middle pad. Panther missed his kick. So Panther has DP up. Oh. And his ribs just colliding with the top rope viciously, slamming down on them.
here we go. Panther. He's got Deadpool. Gonna put him somewhere. Oh, back into the corner. Oh my god. Ow! DP face first into the middle pad. Oh my god! Black Panther doing a flip. That flippy stuff we all like. Panther better not get too cocky. Oh, Panther, he's looking to go, go to the top. Oh! And Deadpool jumped knees Panther. Oh my god! Into Gurried off the top rope, and that is painful. Oh my goodness. It's, oh my god. Oh! Corkscrew splash in a very suggestive position. Deadpool getting Panther up. Back into the ring. Deadpool now has a big advantage here. Deadpool looking to go to the top. It's next here. Oh my god. Oh no! The Panther got the knees up. Call me Mr. Obvious all you want, but that's costly. Oh, he's got him at the turnbuckle. What's he going for here? Oh no, but Deadpool arm drag. Oh, kick. Oh, and Deadpool with the elbow to Panther. Good looking to get him up. Oh, into the ropes again. Oh no, but they bumped into each other. Panther, he's got Deadpool by the ropes. Oh, and the chop, getting him down again, going for another kick combo. It connects. Panther has the advantage here again. Oh, Snapmare. Oh, into the cover. One. Oh, no. But Deadpool squirmed. He, he just kept up. These two staring each other down. The re 60 Stinger Splash, the signature. And DP has Panther up. Oh, no, but. Oh, pa Panther. Oh, spins him. Oh, and a drop kick. Getting DP up. Oh, where's he dragging him? Where's he taking him now? Ow! Face first onto the top and... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Well, this is not gonna end well. Black Panther is going to go try to kill himself and Deadpool. Even though Deadpool's kind of immortal in the movie. Oh my god. Outside Superplex. Outside Superplex connects. T'Challa has to be very quick about this. Because this could be it. Oh, but Deadpool, he's still, he's still fighting. Missing some shots, showing how tired he is. How is he still fighting? In Deadpool. Oh my god, kick to the gut. Super kick! Dragging him to the ring. Going for the cover in the middle of the ring. One, two. Oh, oh. Panther got his leg up. Panther got his leg up. DP, oh, he, he's fired up. On a comeback. Clothesline. Oh no, but a miss. Boy, Deadpool, he's going for it again. Clothesline. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Panthers at the corner. 360 Stinger Splash again. Oh no, Deadpool missed that kick. Oh, wait, DP's busted open. Oh my god, this could be it. This could be it. No oh boy. Going for it. The killing blow. The killing blow. That's not living up to his name. I mean, what? Oh, no, but Deadpool, he squirmed. Therefore, that's a kick out. If you move during the pinfall, like, more than a slight margin, then you, you're not going to... His leg was noticeably up. Hands on a comeback. Sling Blade. I'm not even going to try to explain the rules. I'm just going to try to commentate this match. 
BP getting DP up. Oh, Deadpool at the corner. Oh my god. Running missile drop kick. Will it connect? Running missile drop kick connects. Black Panther. He, he thinks that the time is now. The time may be now. Going for the killing blow again. No, no, but wait. It seems he went for the elbow drop instead. Oh no. But a kick to the calf. Ow, and a slap to the face. DP is absolutely on it. Oh, and a zigzag. Black Panther made a big mistake there. Oh, and another flying forearm. No, just a running forearm, my bad. And BP, he's making no mistakes this time. He wants to close it. Going for the killing blow. Wait, oh no, he reversed it. He reversed it. DP. Oh, and a clothesline. Picking him up. Kicking him. Oh, into the corner. Oh, and he, he just need him. Oh, he's picking him up. Oh, and he's kicking him again. BP made a big mistake, and that could cost him here. Oh, and a slap. And a kick. And another slap. Oh, no, but BP, he's on his striking rampage. Punch to the back. Another punch. Going, running, move. Oh, and a forearm smash. BP may be looking to add the finishing touches here. Oh, into the corner. and What? Oh, boy. Yeah, he's looking to set him up for it. This could be the closing moment. Running. Missile drop kick. Can he go for it? It nails it. He nails it. And BP looking to get up DP. Looking to put the finishing touches. First deciding what to do. What's he going to do here? Oh my god, going for that brain buster instead. It connects! The brain buster. Going for the cover. One, two, no! Kick out! And DP, he, he's in a world of trouble here. The Black Panther thinks he's not done yet. Obviously, if someone kicks out, you need to add more damage. Oh no, but Deadpool, he dodged that. Oh my god, kicked us. Oh! Super kick! Going for the cover, this could be it. One, two, three. DPB, BP. Deadpool is going to Bloodlust. Uh, this is an upset. I did not expect that. The man who main event an emergence lost, and now in the cash and case match, it's just Wade Fenwick and Deadpool, and two more spots will be. I mean, bleh. two more spots will be filled in part two. Now, with that being said, it's our final segment of episode nine's first part, and it's our IWA champion, the god of mischief, Loki. You guys obviously know what happened at the end of Emergence Part 4. Uh, no, before I got copyright claim for it, even though I do not intend to plagiarize, steal, or use anything without permission. I legit do not own Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. Legit. But uh, here he comes, cocky and all. Anyways, at the end of Emergence, Thor had some words for Loki. Loki got fired up easily because that happens if you're an Odinson. And then the two fought. Brawled at the end. And now Loki's probably got... Loki's got words for his challenger. I can confirm. You know that... Thor and Loki have a long storied history together. They have a long history together. Grew up as brothers. Got in fights. Eventually Loki decided to invade New York with an alien army. These two basically have a long history. 
And now there's some wait, wait, some. Oh my God! Thor, Randy Carter on the production truck. Carter with some blows to Thor. Oh, Thor, he's looking to make a comeback here. Thor with some blows of his own. Knee to the gut. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no! Off the production truck! Off the production truck! Randy wanted a piece of Thor and he got it. Now Thor... Well, I, that, I, Randy's probably got a back injury and there he is! There is Thor, the god of thunder. Son of Odin, just like Loki is and up. Thor, he's probably got some words too, and Thor, he's not wasting any time. But Loki, immediately on the attack. Immediately on the attack. Not letting Thor get any breathing room. Oh my. Loki didn't even give Thor a chance to speak, and Thor hesitated. But Loki, back on the advantage. And Thor, oh, Thor's into it now. These two are corner reversing. Oh! And Thor, power slam the Loki. Loki, he's in trouble here. Oh, Thor rolling him up, deciding to let it go. And Thor, oh, uppercut the Loki. Another uppercut. Oh, that was a miss there. And Thor, oh my god. Oh, and a bulldog from Loki, taking advantage of the miss. Thor, oh my. Hot shot to Loki. Oh, Loki elbow to Thor, running up from behind again. Another bulldog. And Thor, oh my, Thor's getting right back up. Loki is trying to do his best to keep down Thor. Rapid shots. Oh my god, that signature, DDT. Loki looking down at his brother, weak, and Thor, he's just crawling up. Thor, he's not giving up. And Loki on the SOS, the SOS connect. Boo this man, boo the heel, boo. And Loki looking to send a message to Thor, and that message is, don't mess with the God of Mischief, I and the Better Brother. This is Nan Express signing off. See you in part two.